so you don't have enough time to roast a leg of lamb? Well, no problem, because enter the silver side. Okay, let's go into the silver side. When your top side is out, then you've got a clear view of your silver side. Then the first insertion that you do is just very close to your shank. You make a small insertion. You go down like that. So simple, the silver side's actually made up of two muscles, isn't it? Yes, there's uh, what we call the eye of silver side, which you can see is the first piece that popped up. Then you go a bit down. That's your second part, of which has got more meat actually than the, than the eye of silver side. So then you go down like that. And all you're doing is following muscle down, yes. not cutting into the meat. Not cutting into other meats. So you're still left with a gorgeous shank for a future dinner. Yes. So all the other uh, pieces are still attached to this. You go down like that. So the reason this roast works really well is because the meat is quite thin uh, and even thickness. So it cooks quickly and evenly. Yes. As you can see there, there's our silver side. So we don't even go deep into the other thick, uh, what we call the thick flank. The muscle you see there, that's what we call the thick flank. Then just close to the tail, that's where you make the insertion there. That's the end of your silver side. And so will any butcher should be able to remove the silver side from your leg of lamb quite easily. Very, very easily. So on beef, you'd make some beautiful biltong, but for roast, how would you do your lamb silver side roast? Uh, actually, what I like mostly about the silver side, you can cut it into uh, thin strips, then you use them for your, uh, your pregos, because it's a very quick uh, steak actually, that you can just, for a quick grill, then you're done. So there you have your beautiful lamb silver side. Even thickness, even size, perfect for a very quick roast or? Oh, the prego steak, as I mentioned before, like the crispy, crispy prego steaks. You just cut it into thin steaks, on your roll, add whatever you want to add, then that's it. So for this and more ideas on what to do with a leg of lamb, go to cookingwithlamb.com or SA National Butchers Challenge on Facebook. Good job, Sid. Good job, well done.